thank you for watching this video my first um, video for GG's Bio Scratch Build 2020 here I'm um, just creating a square edge for my fence for the router to run along as I'll be installing the truss rod later in the video so yeah there's not, there's not much to see here just playing in the wood getting it nice and flat there was a little bit of cuppage if that's a word yeah, the wood was cupping a little bit so we get a flat edge a nice and straight edge and then we run that against the fence and get a 90 degree square angle so it's nice and square for the router to run along really really nice piece of wood some really nice grain it's cherry I asked for it to be unplaned because obviously I wanted to do it myself and plus it's a little bit cheaper if you get it unplaned got it from Exotic Hardwood UK I was really impressed with the timber they've got it's really really seasoned well if you follow me on Instagram though you'll notice that um, I did have some issues with some of the timber cupping but that's because I left it in this workshop and um, the heating is on full blast which I didn't really think about so we had some issues with the top uh, starting to cup and stuff so I've brought that home and put it on, under some weights. I wet it first to put some moisture back in the wood. And then I've put it under some um, like body weights, what you'd use at the gym. And they'll stay there till I'm ready to glue the top on. I have put the body blank together. I'll be hollowing out some chambers for that at some point. But here I'm using a, a Titan router. Very, very cheap brand, but it did the job. Um, I have got my own router at home, but I've got issues with carrying heavy items and stuff because I suffer with bad backs and bad legs and stuff. So yeah, but they had no issues with it. We were nice and straight, as you can see here. And just uh, at the end of the truss rod, it's a little bit wider, so you, you could I, I could have just put a wider router bit in and just routed that. But nothing wrong with using a bit of hand tools now and again. Next week I'll be gluing on the fretboard and shaping the neck, putting the tape down the neck, um, sorting out the brake angle for the headstock. It's quite a steep angle, like this is a 50mm uh, uh, neck blank and um, I'll, I'll show you a picture. Um, it actually, actually goes past the 50mm point if you understand what I mean. So I'm gonna I'm gonna reduce the angle of the headstock a little bit so I don't have to do a scarf joint. Not that I can't do a scarf joint, just didn't plan to do one on this build. Yeah, so next week I'll be um, gluing the fretboard on, shaping the neck like I said. Yeah, so I hope you can join me for that video. See you next time.